using the return keyword. The return statement is used to return some values from a function. It is categorized as a jump statement because it causes execution to return or jump back to the point at which the call to the function was made. Return may or may not have a value associated with it. Return with a value can be used only in a function with a non-void return type. In this case, the value associated with return becomes the return value of the function. Return without a value is used to return from a void function. The general form of the return statement is return expression. Here expression is present only if the function is declared as returning a value. In this case, the value of expression will become the return value of the function. You can use as many return statements as you like within a function. However, the function will stop executing as soon as it encounters the first return. The closing brace that ends the function also causes the function to return. It is the same as a return without any specified value. If this occurs within a non-void function, then the return value of the function is undefined. A function declared as void cannot contain a return statement that specifies a value. Since a void function has no return value, it makes sense that no return statement within a void function can return a value. Now you're familiar with the return keyword. Function with return type and without arguments. In this lesson, we will discuss how to write a function with returning values and without parameters. It is one of the ways to define functions. Let's see an example. Here, in this example, we declare a function called sum, which returns integer type. Inside the main function, we show a text message in the first line. And in the second line, we display a text called result and an integer, which will be returned by the sum function. Here is the definition of sum function. Inside the sum function, we declared an integer variable named x. And in the next line, we show enter a value for x. Then we give an input to variable x using scanf function. And finally, the given input value will be added and returned to the main function using the return keyword. So let's check the output. To do that, compile the code using Alt F9. After the compilation, check on OK. Then run the code using Control F9. This is the text message. Type your desired integer now. This is an output which has been added in the sum function. Now you understand writing a function with returning values. And remember, arguments are also called parameters.